All right, everybody. If you're watching this, that means you have chosen the option two in creating 1.4 Carnotic Music lesson. So as you can see, I've already opened up my Schoology page and I'm going to take you step by step through how to upload the the file, the XML file in the Smart Music and how to com how to create a uh, composition using the Carnotic scale that we've been um, kind of covering. All right. So let's scroll down uh, again. Um, in case you you're figuring out how to get here, right? Uh, go to your class. OK, so you've logged in your class. You're going to see class agenda and then go to semester two week four folder. That's this week. And uh, this will be published. OK, uh, by the time you see it, but I haven't published it yet, which is why it's a little bit discolored. I'm going to open this up. And this takes you to the assignment. Uh, here we have the lesson that we'll have watched in class. Uh, this is a model for experimentation and improvisation. This is the PDF that you can use to download that will aid and assist you with creating your improvisation experimentation if you choose option one. Here's the backing track. And then here is the assignment instructions. Uh, in case you want to do option one, I'm just going to read that right now. Using a melodic instrument, experiment with the sounds of the F major scale, the F natural minor scale, and the F carnotic scale provided on the PDF located on this assignment. Improvise using the notes from the F concert carnotic scale. So you'll press play here. You'll look at your scales and improvise uh, using those notes. And again, this is a video of me doing exactly that. Okay. In this video, it's maybe about a minute, 30 seconds, two minutes tops, something like that. If you've chosen option two, uh, watch a smart music tutorial on how to create a melody by downloading the smart music composed template. Follow each step in the video tutorial. Remember to save often and ask Mr. Thoman if you want any help. Uh, the video tutorial is not uploaded because that's what I'm making right now. So it will appear here. Uh, here is the rubric that we use each week. And here is the XML file. So if you choose option two, or if you want to just explore option two and use that as a, an aid to assist you with your improvisation, cool. So let's just go ahead and click on that. We're going to download it. For me, it goes into uh, my notification bar down here, right? Uh, that just means... Uh, I've set that so I can see that I've downloaded, which is helpful for me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open up a new tab. I'm going to click on Smart Music. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And then I'm going to go up here to the right where this orange waffle is. I'm going to scroll down to where it says Compose. I am then going to hit Import Music, XML, MIDI, or SMZ. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on my folder that says downloads and here I'll, I see my template I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and then open it up this just now is going to take me through the setup for my smart music compose I'm gonna hit go looks like I've got my F natural minor scale my it looks like I'm sorry I have my F major scale natural minor scale carnotic scale Yep, I'm going to press OK. This uh, lead where it says lead, it's a synth lead patch, just creates a drone. Hit OK. Congrat congratulations, I'm all set up. Now, the thing that I want, want to really emphasize here is this is the scale that you're using. These are the only pitches that I want you to improvise over, which is the F carnotic scale as far as the creating part. And when I say improvise, uh, improvisation is just spontaneous composition, so I guess they're synonymous in the way that I'm using them, right? But be, these are the pitches that I want you to use when you create your composition, okay? Uh, one thing that I think is helpful uh, in this, I, I, I want to be able to see them, so I'm going to go to scroll view. You'll see that now I can scroll over here. So now I've got my empty bars here. I've got eight bars that I need to fill today. And then I'll have my side panel open here for when I click on notes, etc. 
And uh, I'm going to go actually and add the, the piano down here. I don't really need to see this bottom note here, uh, the staff, uh, staff, because uh, it's just a drone. So now, now this is the step that I want you to really pay attention to, which is I want you to choose the clef that is most familiar to you. So if you're more familiar with bass clef, and that's what I'm going to choose to use right now, you're going to pick the bottom staff here. And you can see that bass clef here in the treble. You do not need to do anything with the treble clef. The drone is down here. Don't touch that. Bass clef is here. Treble clef students, you're going to use this. So let's let's go ahead. And uh, one thing that I can do, right, is I can kind of play around with this piano. I can click on it. If I have a MIDI piano, I can actually press, right? So that F major scale would sound like this. I use the F melodic uh, F. So uh, let me play it again. Here's the F major scale. Now here's the natural minor scale. And if you remember from the blues and the native scale, we've dealt with a lot of this so far. And we're, we're going to see how that, that sound, this sound is manipulated a little bit more to get us into this F carnotic scale sound, which is, I think, really cool. So here's the F natural minor scale. Okay, and now here's a carnotic scale. And I want you to notice a big difference. Here the second note is lowered. Here the second note is not. Here the third note is lowered. Here the third note is not, but everything else is the same as the natural minor scale, but it gives a really cool sound. So this is the sound that we're going to use, this sound right here. That's important. I don't want you to create anything else other than this. You only really have to fill eight bars, eight bars, okay? So one thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with all quarter notes and uh, I'm going to start with all quarter notes because that kind of just is keeps it simple. Right. And that goes back to our theme and variations. So I'm going to start here on this F and then I'm going to go to an A. And I'm going to click on that and I'm remember now I need to use these notes. So if I use a G I really want to make sure that that's a G flat. So let me go click on notes here. There we go. Uh, the other thing is, it's weird. Again, I don't, I'm not sure why these notes are orange, but I want to get rid of all these. So I'm just going to click on them. Whoa, my mic fell. <laughs> I'm going to click on those notes. Okay. And I'm just going to delete them by pressing the delete button once I've highlighted them. All right, cool. Remember to file, save often. You're going to want to edit your name. So this is going to be mine. I'm going to type in Thoman and then save. I'm going to continue using because I'm not done writing my melody yet. I'll go up here to a C. B flat is in the key signature. A. And G flat, remember. E flat. D flat. And so I've experimented a lot around with these sounds already. So I know what I'm kind of doing with that. You're going to, you may want to, again, if you're doing this right, you really want to be thinking about where are those resting notes, where are those yielding notes, where are those uh, traveling notes and making sure that we're thinking about using some of those, right. For, for helping us to guide our decision-making with this composition process. G 
G flat, remember. Whoops. There we go. Now G flat. G flat again. And I'll just pick a whole note, half note here. Cool. All right, now I want to hear it. Let me hear how my melody sounds. Cool. All right, now I want to add some variety. So one of the things that we've done in the past, right, is to add passing tones in between these quarter notes when there are spaces. So uh, before I do anything else, I'm going to go to save. Continue using. Now there's a weird space there. I'm not sure what's up with that. Let's see if that continues to be a problem. It does. That's strange. So when this happens, uh, one of the things I'd, I would suggest to students is go ahead and save. And you may actually want to reopen it. And I don't think there's any problem with me showing you that trouble solving issue. So now, right now, I can actually just log back into Smart Music. Log in. I'm going to go to my content manager and find my file and edit. And it's still there. So I'm not going to worry about it too much for right now. Maybe I'll go to page view, see if that is existing still. And it's not, OK? So that's good. All right, so now I'm going to go to note. I'm going to add some passing tones. And let's see here. We can go here. That still needs to be a flat. Okay, which you carried over, right? That looks good. That looks good. Make sure that stays flat, E flat. Is that G flat supposed to be there? It sure is. We're good there. I'm going to add another. Remember, that G flat is also what really gives this sound kind of a, its uniqueness, in my opinion. I think that looks good. So let's hear what that sounds like now. Cool. Well, I'm pretty satisfied with that. We're going to go ahead and save. Now, this is what I like you to do. Okay, continue using. I want you to save this as a PDF. So you're going to go to save as a PDF. You can just press save. Okay, 
And then I would like you, if you choose option two, in this assignment for you, it says submit. I want you to submit and then drag this into that submission area or upload it and attach that PDF as a file. And I'd also like you to, to um, I think you can save this. Let's see here, is there another? So I just want you to save it as a PDF and as an XML, okay? And attach both of those to the assignment, and that's it. All right, I hope this is helpful. If you need uh, any other help with this assignment, again, please let me know, and I'll be happy to help you out. All right, have fun.